the rear audio controls in my Suburban, my 2007 Suburban here, uh, came without the knobs. Um, I think they must have been pulled off or kicked off by the kids of the prior owners. The rear audio knobs for the, the Chevy Suburban are about $15 from the dealer, which is more than I wanted to spend to replace them. So I drew my own knobs up and uh, or a model of the knob up in Autodesk Fusion 360, which is a pretty decent CAD program. So I started by you know making a cylinder and then uh, putting a chamfer on this edge and then making a little V-shaped cut and then making a pattern for it to go all the way around the circumference and then made another little cylinder here for the post and then making the um, the half round cut out uh, for the for the stock there in the center so so here's the solid model and now we're going to make it on a 3d printer the MakerBot replicator which has a spool of plastic on the back there that goes through the tube on the top it's like a little thin wire of plastic it goes to the print head here which heats it up and it can deposit the molten plastic in a very specific computer controlled spot and it can make parts. The knobs here are about three quarters of the way done. And the way this works is it's actually hollow, or it's making them hollow with a honeycomb pattern, a hexagonal pattern on the inside to give it some strength. But uh, it doesn't use up too much plastic and it makes it faster to make. So it makes one layer, it lays down one layer of plastic, and then the platform, the build plate moves down 0.2 of a millimeter, and it lays down the next layer of plastic. And it just does that layer by layer, over and over, until the whole part is made. And it'll take, it, it'll take these uh, about 30 minutes, it'll make these in 30 minutes. Getting close to finishing these up now. It's just doing the top few layers. There you have it. Two, uh, two little knobs. You know, it just took some high-powered CAD software, a thousand-dollar 3D printer, a little bit of time on a Sunday morning, and I saved 30 bucks. So here's my little 3D printed knobs, and let's see if these... I think I made them just so that they all just kind of press right on. Yeah, there's one. And line up the flat. And there's the other. So now I have two, two black volume knobs. It looks like they were supposed to be there. It's pretty awesome.